beginning March 21st. It's four, no more. All of Valley's worship services will be held under one roof in the main worship center. There's a lot of change taking place around Valley Baptist Church. As you can see, we're in the midst of a remodeling project. We've already torn up the carpet that was here for more than 10 years. We're going to be laying tile. The walls are going to be painted with warm colors, all in anticipation of March 21st when there's four, no more. Our newly remodeled lobby in the main sanctuary will continue to be a welcoming place of friendship and information with just a few changes to accommodate our growing church body. I guess the question is, why are we making all these changes at Valley? Well, the answer is simple. It's because of the blessing of God. This past year, our church grew more than any other year. In a very short period of time, beginning in August, we grew by more than 500 people in worship attendance. When we started the first contemporary service, very quickly it filled up, and then we started a second contemporary service over in the multipurpose building. When we started the second service, our schedule became very confusing. I really believe that people grow best spiritually in small groups. That's why we have Sunday school classes, not only for children, but for people of all ages. Jesus preached to thousands of people on occasion, but he chose 12 to invest in in a small group. There's a danger that as our church grows bigger, at the same time, it might grow weaker. We added 500 people in worship attendance, and during the same time, our small group attendance actually declined. So beginning March 21st, we're going to a brand new schedule. We're only going to have three services, and all of them will be right here in the sanctuary. At 8 o'clock, and then again at 9.15, we'll have a blended worship style service. And then at 11 o'clock, we'll have one contemporary uh, worship service. And so mark your calendar, March 21st, for no more. As we move from this multi-purpose auditorium into the main worship sanctuary, our spirit of worship and our ability to remain in a casual and comfortable environment will move right along with us. I want you to know that we're going to do everything that we possibly can to keep the casual atmosphere of this service, where you can come as you are and dress however you're comfortable. We're going to put a couple coffee bars in our lobby. We're going to create kind of a cafe atmosphere where you can grab a cup of coffee and sit down at a table and kind of hang out with your friends until the service starts. Now obviously when you enter this room, this is a very traditional room with pews. But you know what? The same band's going to be playing. We're going to be singing the same song. More importantly, we're going to be worshiping the same Lord. We say all the time that worship is not a matter of externals. It's a matter of the heart. You know what? It really is. Worship is a matter of the heart. And I think already in this contemporary service, we have been blessed with that very important mindset. We've already had such impacting times of worship together at the multi-purpose room. I think this move to the sanctuary will be good for us, taking both of the contemporary services and unifying us together under one roof so we can worship our God in spirit and in truth. As Paul said to the Colossians, we are to come together in unity to encourage one another and admonish each other with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. I think that this move will do just that and will embody that idea of unity. It will not only do that, but it will open up more space so that we can have more visitors come to become members of our church so we can all worship together as God commanded us in spirit and in truth. We want everyone at Valley Baptist to have the best possible chance to grow in their relationship with Christ and with each other. Be sure to find a connection point as we move under one roof and celebrate three worship services on Sunday mornings beginning on March 21st with four no more.